Hi everyone, let's learn something new today. Let's create zinc oxide nanostructures. Here we can see a nice presentation shared by Professor Joy Mitra from ICER Thiruvananthapuram. Here you can see nice microscope images. So basically we have hexagonal nano pillars distributed randomly. And if you scroll down, you can see different representations here and you can see nice images. Let's create this in Blender. Also, if you simply Google and look at the images, you can see nice materials and most of them are hexagonal nano roads. Here you can see an interesting representation. Let's learn how to grow zinc oxide nano structures on different surfaces. Let me open Blender. First, I'll add a plane, shift a mesh plane. On top of this plane, we will grow zinc oxide nano structures for that we need an hexagonal nano road right so where do we begin start with a cylinder shift a mesh cylinder when you add cylinder don't click anywhere you can find here a small menu click and expand that here you can reduce number of vertices and if you keep it three you can see we have a triangular column we need six four five six that looks good now you can increase its scale along z axis s z that looks fine scale it down let's keep it here and move the plane here so we'll add a hair particle system on this plane go to particle properties click on this plus icon change this from emitter to hair now we have a lot of hairs reduce the number maybe to 100 for now and you can reduce the length as well like this so what we are going to do replace all these lines with our hexagonal nano road that you can see so for that we need to do something uh, basically you can see the location of the origin is at the center of the nano pillar we need that to be at the bottom go to edit mode press tab and simply move this up like that and you can see here the dot all right so one quick tip that i can give you Instead of this hand icon, you can hold shift and scroll wheel so that you can, you know, pan the screen. You should definitely start using that instead of all the time going and choosing this one. So that's how I am able to easily navigate. Okay, that looks good to me. Go back to object mode, press tab, select this plane. Now here, scroll down and you can see render, expand that, change render as from path. These lines are called path to object. We need objects insert. Now, if you look at the bottom, you can see Blender is asking which object it should use to replace all those hair particles. Um, you can use this eyedropper tool and select this um, hexagonal road. And now you can see we have a lot of nano roads on the surface. They are not big enough. If you increase the hair length, you can see them. I'll add a color to this nano road. Go to materials, click on new, change to blue. Now we need to fix its rotation. Go back to particle settings, select the plane first and scroll down under object, activate object rotation. Now select this road and we need to rotate it. Choose rotate tool, rotate along Y axis. Now you can see it, the roads are rotating on the surface. So expand this menu and go to item. Here also you can find its rotation and if you adjust the rotation here change this to 90 you can accurately rotate it now this looks good we can keep this on one side like that now we need some randomness right they are uniformly distributed how to add some randomness you can close this and here at the top you can find advanced option activate that now you can see a new option which says rotation activate rotation change orientation axis to normal tangent which is important now we are good to go you can increase the randomness here now look at that this is what we want and choose an optimal randomness that you are happy with now you are good to go now according to the density of the roads you can increase or decrease the number like that so i'll keep it here for example okay quickly let's add some thickness to the substrate go to modifiers again search for soldify modifier select that increase the thickness a little bit now we have some thickness isn't that cool 
yeah if you are growing this over time and you want to show its growth zn oxide nanostructures it could be anything it can be applied for other materials as well also at the objects it's not about zinc oxide it's about the technique where we can grow things on the surface or distribute things on the surface now i'll duplicate this shift d and move it to one side like that now this is a different object but we need to go to particle settings so here we don't want this many number of roads right and one quick thing that i wanted to mention if you want to add randomness in the scale also you can go down and under scale you can see scale randomness now you can see all of them are of different sizes that is more accurate so i'll keep some randomness there okay now here we want to show smaller growth right and maybe smaller in number as well so if you reduce the number you can see both of them are changing i'll go back control z so what you need to do you need to duplicate the particle system so that this plane will have a different totally different particle system independent of this one and click this one now if you change the number you can see it is a different particle system so this button is very important don't forget to click that if you want to duplicate an object with particles system you need to duplicate the particle system itself as second step okay now going under i will reduce the number a little bit and i can reduce the scale a little like that okay that looks fine and one more tip if you don't like the distribution for example here we don't have enough number of roads here you can see seed value simply change that so that you will get different distribution okay now that looks good and if you want you know one more stage where you have more number of nano roads shift d duplicate move this one side and go to particle settings and again click on new particle system now increase the number so that we have dense packing like that isn't that cool yeah now you can increase the size also a little bit 0.07 okay that looks good so you can take an image and show that you know at time t1 time t2 time t3 maybe it's not time maybe it's difference in you know some concentration of some material pressure and so on so you get the idea you can take different images so to take a quick image of this one i'll move this to to one side and add a camera shift a camera click on this camera icon now we are looking through the camera okay i can move this here now i'll add a light shift a light area move this here i'll select this one and move it here and switch to render preview mode select the area increase the size go to light settings and increase power now look through the camera and we have locked the camera this is very important camera should be locked like this if you click again it is unlocked now move the screen down and you have a nice image like that now in render settings under film i have turned on transparent option that's why we have a transparent background if you uncheck that we have gray background so that i think you know already now we are good to go this is in ev when you render keep the object as close as possible to camera so that we can capture as much detail as possible and you can click on render and render image yeah this is the image you can save it by going image and save as now to take the next image i will simply move this here and click on this camera icon to go out of the camera view move this here and now you have your next image go out and you know move the next one that's how you do it now assume that you are growing these nano structures on the surface of a nano fiber or a ribbon or something like that how do you create those kind of distribution let me move this here i can show you a nice example quickly so here we have a good one but let me show you this one you can see a nano road like structure and on the surface we have this kind of hexagonal growth now i will add shift a curve bezier this is very important and this is a line actually you can go to data here and increase depth so that it will 
become a tube you can go to edit mode and adjust its you know properties like this left click and choose move tool you can adjust this watch the video on creating fibrous network where i have talked more about this curve in detail so i'll keep it like that now it is a curve but we need to convert this into a mesh so that you know we can grow things on top of that by adding particle system we cannot add particle system on a curve even though it looks like a cylinder it is still a curve so i'll go to object convert and choose mesh you can see a curve you can also convert meshes into curves in different cases but we will now go with mesh now go to wireframe mode see now it became a uh, mesh now go to particle settings click on plus and change that to hair and now we have hair particles growing on the surface reduce the hair length a lot now that looks good now scroll down under render change render as to object and using eyedropper tool select the nano root now here you can see we have roots and i can increase the hair length a little bit so that we can see them clearly switch to material preview mode activate advanced option and scroll down activate rotation and scroll down and activate object rotation now look at that this is what i meant and in this case we need more number of particles and you can also randomize its rotation if it is needed you can adjust scale randomness a little bit and i would like to add randomness in rotation change this to normal tangent and add randomness okay so this is what i meant while you render try to render with cycles render engine go to render engine change this to cycles and render that would look much better compared to ev but you need to make sure that you have enough ram in your computer as well as processor should be at least i5 i3 will struggle with cycles rendering okay so yeah so this is how it looks under ev all right now one specific case assume that you are growing something else in between you might be going to use this in you know catalysis or energy storage applications maybe so what i'll do i need to add one more uh, different type of road which could be you know different material uh, maybe that can be cylinder instead of a hexagon i will add shift a mesh cylinder i will expand this menu and i will increase number of vertices and here we have our cylinder so what i am trying to show you if you want to add more than just one object on the surface follow this method add a new object like this where is our road it is here and we need to create a new collection here you can see in this menu there is an option to add a new collection click on that i will simply type here road so that we can easily identify select our road here zno type here zno drag and drop it inside roads select this one maybe that could be carbon nanotube i don't know maybe something else so i'll simply type road 2 and you can drag and drop it inside roads so we have a collection named roads so select this and change the color of the cylinder quickly go to materials change the color to maybe something different and select this particle system go to particle settings under render change render as from object to collection and under collection change instance collection to roads now look at that we have those roads as well but the roads looks big you can scale it down separately can rotate it and fix its alignment i will rotate it along y press r then y and rotate it like that that looks good i will scale it along x axis s x okay now that's how you do it you have grown something else in between so i hope you learned how to grow zno nanostructures on different surface it could be different materials or it could be different objects as well Basically, we explored how to use hair particle system. So let me know if you have any questions. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.